my very special friends. I love you so much. And I thank God for you today. I'm Dr. Don Wilton, and I'm so happy to be your pastor today and to have this time with you. And I know that God is going to bless us. I have an encouraging word for you today. And I know that God is going to bless us in every way. We've got a very special hymn to sing together today. And you're going to love this hymn as we sing it together right now. Hello, my precious friends. Isn't this wonderful that we can have a time like this together? How are you doing? I hope and pray that you're doing well. You know, I told you this already, but my name is Dr. Don Wilton. And you know, I'm just so happy that I can be your pastor today because that's very precious to me because you are very, very precious to me. And I can see you. And I was just wondering how you are doing. And I'm praying for you. Do you know that? And so are all your family and friends. And I know that you are surrounded by a lot of wonderful people, including your caregivers and the nurses and the staff. And I just love them. Thank God for everyone. And we're praying for them too and their families and all the things that they do. So I wonder what it is that's in your life today. You know, we all have things that we have deep in our hearts, don't we? And that's what I love about the Lord Jesus. You know, the Lord Jesus is the best friend that we could ever, ever have because he's God's son. And the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. Do you know when you give your heart to Jesus, he holds you in the palm of his hand, and you can know for absolutely certain that one day 
You're going to live in heaven with him. That is the best place ever to be in heaven. We're all going to be in heaven together. Isn't that wonderful? You know, that's why this hymn was so wonderful as we sang it together. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. You know, that hymn speaks about us giving of ourselves 100% to Jesus. Have you done that? You know, as I've been growing up in all these years, as I've served the Lord, I've had so many things in my own life. I wish you could meet my wife, Karen. I love her. We've been married for 41 years. Now, I know that's not nearly as long as some of you have been married, but we're catching you up. And we have three grown children, and we've got eight grandchildren, and we really love each other. I wonder about your life. You see, in my life, I also have lots of things to do, lots of places to go, my family to love, my church to serve, the encouraging word television ministry all across America and around the world, our wonderful times like this together. We've got lots of things, haven't we? So you see, that hymn, Take My Life and Let It Be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Listen to this. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Do you know what God invites us to do, tells us to do in His Word? I'm holding a precious Bible in my hand. This is God's encouraging Word. And God's Word says, I beseech you, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that you give of yourselves 100% to the Lord Jesus. Because this is what is acceptable to him. And that's what it means to be consecrated. And as I think about my life and all the things, my big challenge is to be totally given to him in praise, in worship, that my daily thoughts, every moment of every day, I'm thinking of him. I want to encourage you today. You know, when you have that pain, just consecrate your life to Jesus. When you have that feeling of loneliness, let your praise flow to him. When you have that time where you wonder what you're going to be doing next, give it all to Jesus. Take my life and let it be. Maybe you want to memorize the first part of this hymn. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Let's say that together. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Isn't that wonderful? That's what Jesus invites us to do. So I'm going to pray with you today. I'm going to keep my eyes open when I pray. And I'm going to ask God to help you and me to take our lives and let them be consecrated, Lord, to thee. That he would bless us every moment of every day because we need encouragement all the time, don't we? And then when I say amen, let's sing that hymn one more time. Can we do that? Why don't you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us and thank you for the Lord Jesus. We consecrate our lives to you every moment of every day. And we sing together, take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Make this prayer real to us and bless my friends today. In Jesus' name, amen.
my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let me sing always only for my King, always only for my Take my silver and my gold, not a might would I withhold. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise, let them flow in Take my will and make it thine, it shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own, it shall